Welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Nodding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the latest version of Blender 3.0 uh, of Geometry Nodes, and we apparently have a new curve primitive. So let's create a cube and go to edit mode, delete everything, create geometry nodes. Now we have curve primitives. There's this Bezier, quadratic Bezier, so that kind of create just curve. And this one is pretty simple. I mean, it might be hard to understand at first, but you basically have a starting point and ending end point and start point. And you have this handle to play around with. It's similar to bendy bones, actually, if you ever use bendy bones. So you can create any kind of curve, any shape of curve using this handle there's like a invisible handles and the start and end point. So that's kind of cool. And because of because of all these cur curve primitives, we don't have we don't need to have other objects out here in order to create like a like a donut for example or pretzel. We can simply use the uh, convert okay curve to mesh. It's called curve to mesh, but this is more like a bevel, actually. So this is this is already a curve. It going going in, and this is a circle, goes in, so it creates like a like a bevel, a bevel, right? Because this is a circle. So if you have circle and circle, you can have a donut. So now you have this, and this so this curve to mesh is like a bevel, so. Um, we might already have like weld or merge or maybe we don't have it yet which means these objects might be actually separated again it's not it's interesting because it's already welded together yeah this this kind of effect is actually almost like a revolve even though even though it's not completely like a proper revolve but it's very very similar so we get like a donut a way to create a donut on top of this we actually have curve primitive star um, we have spiral that we can actually take a look if we have so two two circles will make like a donut if we have a spiral here, we're gonna get spiral because we have this circle and it goes in spiral. Okay, so we can create like a poo, like a poop. So end radius, height control. I think you already know what this does. Okay, it's uh, it's creating spiral or creating like a poop. We can reverse it. Okay, so that's a poop. Um, sp okay, spiral, poop, circle. What else can we do here? Oh yeah, star, I forgot. Star. Star, of course, give a star. If we uh, take a look at the spreadsheet, we can see now, okay, this is slightly different now. It's pretty interesting and seems cleaner. So even just a curve primitive will give you option like tilt position radius um, twist okay twist is interesting also we can yeah we can use this to and bevel our object so we can use this way so this will create like a star let's zero out the twist control over the inner and outer radius Normally we have this um, as an object from extra curve, but now we have everything here. So let's save this as primitive curve geometry nodes. Okay, so we can also have like a donut, okay, like a circle, circle donut, but we use star. So this is pretty interesting. So we are like a 
it's almost like a revolve, like I said. And we can smooth it because this is a. If you pass it through the geometry nodes, in the end, the output is going to be mesh. It's not a curve. Okay, so this is already quite interesting. On top of this, I already <clears throat> I prepared something earlier. I call it randomized star. Uh, so with this setup, we can have something like this. So I start with a star here, and then I generate an attribute. I call it normal. It's probably not exactly normal, but from original stars like this, if I multiply the normal with this random value blah, so I multiply it here, and then uh, and then add it into the original positions, I will get this randomized randomized uh, stars. Okay, so just one, two, three, four. I should just command J group it and then copy and then primitive curve paste it here so we can have stars and randomize stars based on the normal type in here Okay, so this could be useful. So we can control this radius, control this radius also, twist, and yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Except that I want to do one more thing because I, I know uh, we we can use Sphere together with this guy. Spherechop have a bunch of cool tool like torus knot. So with the torus knot and polyline viewer. So Spherechop of course is another add-on. This add-on takes uh, this add-on have hundreds of nodes you can work with. <clears throat> In this case, torus nodes will output this kind of line that we can make cyclic. And this guy is a curve, okay? This is generating an object called alpha. And we can control the resolution. Sometimes it's generating more than one curve. You need to be careful, but anyway, this is super useful. This, we can just pipe it into our object can collapse this um, actually just leave it this is objects from scratch job pipe in as the curve suddenly we have this pretty pretty awesome okay pretty cool uh, so you can try just play around with the value And just you know, yes, yeah, just give it a material. If I'm not wrong, if I open this using Blender 2.92, I can use it with with Renderman. So this is Blender 3.0. I have this is 2.92. What happened if we kind of open the the newer blend? Oh, okay, it crashes. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, maybe get rid of this for now. Okay, we have this, right. We can always apply this guy. File, save as, bake, call it bake. And open 2.92 where I have render man. We're gonna have nicer render file open. There, okay. You can right click, use random man, right click, 
convert to sub D. Convert to sub D will add a subdivision mesh for this guy. So it, when when we render this, it's gonna be smooth. Without we without needing to add modifier. Okay, so that's a it's quite cool, quite interesting. Click, right click. So render man. Uh, of course, we have all sort of materials. I want to use just presets from random and extra material. We have something funky like beetle. Oh, by the way, you might notice something weird here. The output of the face is flip. Okay, something to keep in mind. Okay, be careful here. Flip the normal. So I flip the normal face, now is correct. I can render, but I need some light. So presets, category, light rig, three point lighting. So the boring, I mean the, the basic three point light will already give the look. Okay, so we have this, cool, assign beetle materials, even better. Give it an indoor material with some HDR environments. Suddenly we have this, right? So you can see where this is going. It's like a you have a way to procedurally generate something like this very very quickly. And this is the default beetle material, but I can just change the value, the color, give it like a render. Blender color blue and orange and let's see what's the effects the iridescence maybe have some something going on here fast we don't need subsurface glass we don't need glow don't need just let it let it render for a while if I turn off this dome while it's rendering it's clean yeah all right, so this is uh, yeah, pretty much you know like a random star bevel over twisted torus using geometry nodes, and we get this. It's a uh, pretty easy, simple to create now. Uh, Blender is getting more powerful, and we have renderman to render this. Pretty cool. Hopefully, you enjoy this live loading. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.